AME Info, the ultimate Middle East business radio. Well, getting ready for a flight over to Dubai, it's a pleasure to welcome, and with a big hello, let's say hello to Lionel Richie. How you doing? Very well in Dubai, and it's a pleasure to have you on the program today. A long, long, long way from the days of the Commodores and even the Mystics. How about that? If you want to talk as far back as the Mystics, how about another century ago, it seems like? I'm sure it does indeed, yes. Um, well, you were back on the road. You had your uh, tour, well, in fact, a big show in London last year. And what a surprise. I must tell you, I walked out on that stage, and it was. I had to blink for a moment to figure out, was there a time span of eight to ten years since mm-hmm. I walked out there the last time? Uh, the crowd was just amazing. Well, as well as, as you said, having that blink, what, what did you actually feel like after being off the stage for such a long time? It's as if it never happened. It was, it was just from one show to the next. Once you walk on stage, I think the fact that I've done it mostly all of my life, yeah, sure. it's so much a part of my life. I just walked back on stage, and it was the next show. Um, and I guess the crowd had a lot to do with it. Nothing had changed. Uh, they all knew every word. In fact, better than I did this trip around. <laughs> and and the, the, the most important part is, is that with their enthusiasm, the rest looks the, the same to me. The lights still look just right. as bright. <laughs> it must be very bizarre, really, as you say, a blink of the eyelid and sort of eight years disappeared with that feeling being back on stage. It's really strange. And, uh, and of course, the, I was just amazed at the acceptance of the music. In fact, in a lot of cases... Uh, the crowds were even more enthusiastic than the day it was actually released. The crowd, the, the songs were released, so it's, it's mm, mm. C- kind of amazing. You did the closing ceremony of the Olympic Games. That was, what, 84, I think it was? 84, or? my goodness, yes. A massive and crowd. Still, and still people to this day stop me on the street and go, I saw you at the Olympics, and I wanted to tell them that was 84. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, amazing. So, But the amazing memory. Sure, the people do, don't they? Um, what's been perhaps your greatest achievement you feel over the last, well, since you've been performing 20 odd, 30 oh, years? Oh my God. That's kind of a tough one. I, I must tell you, I've, I, I, in our business, if they just ask you to come back for the second time, that's a, a major achievement in the world. Mm. And, and I think the basic one that I'll always say is that the fact that I can go to any country in the world and they know Lionel Richie. I, I guess that's sure. that's an achievement in itself. What, what about um, the, the 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 reaction and the, the the feeling you had around the world with uh, the famine relief in Africa when you wrote "We Are the World"? It was it was amazing. I can tell you now the many cards and letters and how many tribes and families I am now a, a part of. Quincy and Michael and myself. The we've been made a part of every major tribe and and family and in Africa and and uh, of course people all around the world that know this song backwards and forwards and the elementary school kids and the preschool kids who to this day I still get uh, uh, notices would you like to come and hear our school sing this song or I get tapes from schools from all around the world with the, the young choirs uh, singing We Are The World still to this day it's, it's still quite overwhelming. Uh, Lionel, I think you'll find that when you get to Dubai, talking families, you'll have a big family uh, welcome here. Well, the the funniest part about my entire show, and I and I say funny, it's only funny to me. It's it's not really unusual to anybody else in the audience. But you will find that I will start every song off, and the crowd will sing the rest of it. Okay. Does that the, mean the you funniest have... part? They know every lyric to every song. They know every melody to every song. And the funniest thing that has ever happened in my career is that I have to turn my microphone up just a little louder to sing over the crowd. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. Well, I'm sure it's going to be the same here in Dubai with the, the vocal talents of the audience you can expect. We've got quite a, a lot of music to cover. A, a vast amount of music to cover, as you say. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you. And just tell all my friends, front row, sing as loud as you can. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Lionel Richie, I'm sure you'll have them dancing on the ceiling. This is how we'll finish <laughs> off. Thank you very much indeed. Take care now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. That was killer. Oh,